Might get it up straight. Okay. Beauty. All right. Now, what's happening? If I can take that from you just a minute. When you lift your cast, you're coming back too far. Okay. Okay. Line's coming down on the ground. Now, when you try to come forward, look what happens. See the big arc? All right. Watch it again. Up. Very big arc. Ideal situation is to make our back cast so that our line is up higher. So when we come forward, gravity's helping us out. See it? Much easier to go downhill than it is to cast uphill. All right? Downhill. So shoot that cast up behind you. I believe that that back cast should be called an up cast. It's a little bit easier for you. Turn around and watch your back cast occasionally too. It's another another thing that we have to uh, get across to the student is that when the line goes back past you out of your field of vision, mm -hmm. you're going to assume that everything's fine. Right. But a lot of times the behavior of that back cast is so poor right. that it is responsible for the poor forward cast that you right. get. Right. Okay, so you have to, if you look back and just check on it every once in a while, you'll be more prone to correct it, making the forward cast a lot easier. Okay. That's a, it'll be a hard habit to break. Okay, okay? Yeah. that's right. Yeah, let the rod load up back there. Beautiful, beautiful. No harder than that. Absolutely not. Wait on it. Drift forward. Okay. It's your your delivery, your control, the presentation of certainly the line and leaders are much better. Right. I can tell when I do. I can feel the jerking. You know. That's the right. Timing, you know. Well, more than that, you'll see it. Yeah. You notice another thing that's, that's better, too, is you don't have that tailing loop, which, as right. I'm sure you know, when the fly's on the end of the leader, oh, it's almost always hung on the line, right. and you have to stop that's and right. yeah, that's uh, the take it off. Okay. okay. Right. Still trying to muscle it. That's right. It looks to me almost like you have uh, taken a fly fishing without any... Now, see how that line is having a tendency to curve on the end of you? What you're doing is you're casting in two planes. You're coming back in one plane and forward in another. It's going to give you a curve. Now, what this plane idea is, imagine we have a magic marker on the end. This magic marker is a magical magic marker, and it can draw on the sky. Now, when we come back, it would make a line. When we come forward, it would also make a line. However, it should be the same line. What we can't do is we can't change planes in the middle of a cast. Otherwise, we'll get that curve. You seem to come back here, come forward a little bit off to the side. There's that sideways. See? There it is sideways again. It wants to come back and forward all on the same plane. Okay. <laughs>